Hey guys, Moran Pobera here, and today I'm going to talk about how to find motivated sellers. And this is part two. Let's get to it. So, hey, welcome to another video. My name is Moran Pobera, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses and how to ideally grow businesses by acquisition. So there's two ways to grow businesses. One of them is internally by doing more sales and marketing. And the other way is by going and buying other companies. That's what the biggest companies out there are doing. That's what I suggest you to do. Um, even if you're starting from scratch and you don't have an existing business, I think you'd rather go and buy existing business versus starting from scratch. Most businesses who start, business owners who start from scratch, they're going to fail, unfortunately, in the first few years. And even those who succeed will fail in the first 10 years. What we're trying to do is basically skip that period and go directly to businesses doing or, or existing for at least five to 10 years. And then we buy them. And usually you can buy them with as much capital or even sometimes none of your own capital. And many times it's going to cost you less than starting a business. This is what this channel is all about. Like, subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. And comment below, let me know your thoughts on this video or just on anything in life in general, on yourself or on what you want me to talk about. But see in the description below, there's a link to a free business buying mastermind group and also a link where you can give me your details and your biggest question. And I'm creating videos based on those questions. So see the link in the description below. Let me know what is your biggest question. Give me suggestions because I'm trying to post daily. So um, that's it for the introduction. Let's get to today's topic. So to begin with, if you didn't watch the first video in this um, kind of like playlist of how to find motivated sellers, go and watch it. Today I'm going to continue from where I ended last time. So go and watch the first video if you didn't yet. And today I'm going to talk about, to begin with, the first, the idea that especially in the deals that we're looking at uh, businesses doing between one to five or ten or up to 20 million a year in sales or especially in the one to five many times the reason that someone will sell a business to you isn't just the price and that's why so many people out there they can find motivated sellers but they don't understand that many times it's more about you knowing how to position yourself in front of that owner and what words to tell him in order for him to sell the business to you and become motivated because many times it's about solving his problems more than about giving him the amount of money that he wants. Many times, especially if that's his only first business, um, that business is like his baby. His employees are, are like his family. And when you come and approach him to buy his business, many times you showing that you take, will take care of his employees, the heritage, the brand that he built. Uh, you're gonna take care of his clients who are many times his friends is more important to him than just the amount of capital that he'll get because those owners many, many times own those businesses for 5, 10, 20 years. They already made a significant amount of money. They already took uh, a nice of amount home already and they have their savings, they have their retirement plans. And the reason for them to sell you the business many times is for you to keep whatever they built and sustain it and basically continue pr to provide their employees jobs. Um, that's basically an option versus shutting down the business, which is going to destroy it. And you positioning yourself the right way will differentiate you like crazy. And many times they'll sell the business to you versus a bigger player in the industry because a bigger, bigger player in the industry many times will come in. He will change the name of the business. He will fire many times 50% of the employees because he already got those departments in his company. So let's say they have an existing marketing department or finance department or HR department. They don't need that, those duplications. So they'll fire everyone in that business. And that's what the, that owner is afraid of. And that's why when you approach those owners, it's more about the psychology, the mindset, the rapport that you build with that owner. And kind of like the, the, it all comes down to how you position yourself and the questions that you're asking and, and the way and the words that you're saying in order to make him motivated to sell to you, if that makes sense. People think that if they have a lot of money, that will allow them to buy the best deals out there. And it's not true. Many times, especially in this space, having more capital um, doesn't mean that you're going to buy the better you're going to get the better deals yes i do agree maybe if you have more capital you have more contacts and you're able to get those people on the phone easier um, you have the track record maybe yes you're going to have easier time to get in front of those business owners but when you're talking to those owners again i'm talking about those type of businesses one to ten in, in sales one to ten million in sales um, you having more capital in your bank many times going to uh, be against you. You're going to position yourself the wrong way. You're going to present yourself as this 
rich dude who, who's, who can do whatever he wants. And, and that's not what the owner is looking for. The owner or a, a, anything in life, guys, someone will buy something from you or sell his business to you because you can help him, uh, I guess, give solutions to his problems or, or provide uh, answers to his issues. And many times it, it really comes down to, again, your beliefs, your mindset, the fact that you know that you can add value to that person and, and not just in terms of money. And you having the right mindset, the right position in the right, I guess, reason to buy his business is, is much more important than you just coming in and thinking that you, you whatever, you, you, you're like a big player. And you'll see, like I saw many, many times people who come to me, they have a lot of capital to invest in deals. They're having conversations with owners. They think the meeting went well, but then they don't hear back from the owner. The owner say, hey, I need to think about it. I'll go and talk to my partner. Let me think about your deal again. And they don't understand that there's a lot more into the deal than just the amount of capital that they offer to, to, to that business owner. The other times I see people who come maybe with less capital and they feel like they're cheating because they don't use their capital to buy their business because they need to raise the capital from financial institutions or partners or things like that. And they don't have the right mindset. They don't believe in what they have to offer to that business owner. And it all, it's, it's going to reflect outside. If inside with your subconscious, you don't feel like you have, and you don't have the right beliefs on how to position yourself when you buy those businesses, the other side will feel it. And, and if you feel like you're trying to um, cheat him with, bring in capital from outside to buy his business, he's gonna feel that and he's gonna be like, well, why I get a sense that I can trust that person? You gotta feel and understand that using other people money is more than okay in order to buy businesses and progress in your life. The richest people in the world, that's what they're doing. They're using other people money and other people resources and time in order to, to leverage their time and then grow and, and that's more than okay. And if you don't have those beliefs and you don't have the right attitude towards those, those, those actions, it's going to be reflected outside and the business owner is going to feel it and, and you'll feel like you're going to have great conversations with those owners, but then they, they're going to come back and, and you're just going to tell yourself, hey, I thought he's motivated, but I just can't find motivated sellers because inside you have issues with yourself and the, the wrong beliefs on how the deal should, should, look like, should look like. And you see, and I saw it with others, like they're the literally people will uh, doubt your integrity and they're gonna tell you, what do you think you're doing? You're, gonna, you're trying to rob me, you're trying to, to use my company assets to buy my business. And that only happens to people who have their wrong mindset inside and they're afraid to position yourself as someone who doing those deals, doing leverage buyouts for a living. And, and everything you make a big deal is going to be reflected outside. If you make a big deal by going out there and using other people's money to buy businesses or to do anything in life, it's going to be reflected outside. Everything you're making a big deal out of, others will see. And, and it's so important. And again, I'm coming back to those mindset things versus just specific strategies, because many times it's much more important than the exact letter you need to send to an owner or the exact event you need to go for in a specific sector. Now, those beliefs, many times you can't control it because they come out from, from people around you, your family members, your, your husband, your wife, your kids. They tell you, hey, how do you plan to buy businesses if you don't have much capital? You plan to buy this multi-million dollar business. I don't see million dollar, multi-million number in, in your bank account. How do you plan to do that? But as long as you have all those people around you um, putting on you those negative beliefs, uh, beliefs that are, are not j just period, not right, because leverage buyout deals happen around the world all the time like i mean there are billion dollar deals that are being made just like that um, companies are raising billions of dollars that aren't that's not their own capital uh, so to speak they raise capital from the outside from institutions from private investors and that's part of life and you need to really understand that process and and really believe that that's possible it's something that happens all the time and unless you have that belief and certainty that what you're doing is right and you're actually adding value to those business owners because you're providing them a better exit strategy you're giving them a very fair accounting valuation for their business that otherwise they'll have to shut down or destroy or fire all their employees unless you believe that you're really adding value it's not going to work for you like literally just think even even about the biggest companies out there like facebook you think they bought whatsapp just you think Mark Zuckerberg went to his bank account and took all of his capital to buy WhatsApp? No, they're, they're, that's why they're taking their company public. That's why they're raising capital in order to do those deals. That's capitalism, guys. That's, that's, that's the word. That's the word of money. It's okay to go and leverage other resources who benefit from giving you money in order for you to grow. It's part of life. 
And the opposite is all also true. If you have the belief that what you're doing is adding value, you can offer $1 down for a business and get the rest of it seller financed 100%. And if you know how to position it and what things to say to that owner and what questions to ask, and you really believe that what you're doing to your bones, inside your bones, you believe that what you're doing is good and adding value. And again, for the right reasons as well. Um, this, this, it will work, it will reflect outside. So whatever you have inside yourself internally, that will reflect outside. If you don't believe that offering a deal or getting a deal 100% seller financed is okay, it's never gonna happen to you guys. Whatever you believe will happen. And the next thing I'll, I'll talk about, probably in the next video in this series already, is understanding of price or why would someone sell to you the business for $1 down versus why would someone sell to you the business for five time multiples and when to offer what and how to position yourself in a way that either of those deals makes sense. Obviously it depends on who you're talking to and all that stuff, but you need to understand guys, it's all internal in the end of the day. I, I don't care what sector you're in, there are motivated sellers in every sector Many businesses out there, they're semi-distressed. You just need to know how to position yourself. You need to have internally the right view on this world of mind businesses, and then your results are going to be completely different. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video and talk about more topics and get more into the nitty gritty of finding motivated sellers. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Moan Pober here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner Carl Ellen and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sellers because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sellers. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're gonna open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're gonna create some kind of a shark tank where we're gonna look at deals that you wanna buy and we potentially gonna invest our own 
capital basically going to put some equity kick into those deals so many times you know you can buy a million dollar business but you're missing 50 grand here 100,000 here and we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals those are our the best deals out there investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do and we will put the capital into some of those deals as well so if you need help with that you can apply to the program if you never bought a business before or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another one million dollar so don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners and don't get me wrong you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos some of the info i have here i literally paid multiple six figures to learn but the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in the space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel. Like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel, help me buy more businesses so I can help you buy yours as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.